Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this video on superpowers. It's putting all our power laws together into a neat little package. The next video, we step it up and get harder. All right, so I hope you're sitting down nice and comfortably, looking at this sheet of notes, ready to take some notes. All right, so write these as a single power. Often you'll see this written as simplify. Simplify means write the following single power. Sorry, that's my attempt to write simplify. Now, here, same base, we add the powers. So it'll be 2 to the 9. We are not asked to evaluate that, leaves it there. Here, same base, subtract the powers, 2 to the 8. Here, power to a power, we multiply. So it's 6 to the 10. This is a trap. There is no power rule with addition or subtraction. We can't write that as 2 to the 9. The best we can do is write it out separately and consider what each of those looks like. And it might work out nicely. It might not. 2 to the 6. Well, going down the 2s, that's 2 to the 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So really, this is 64. plus, or 2 to the 3 is 8, which is 72. Now, 72 isn't a special one as far as I know. We can't write that as a product of any powers. So really, you could just rewrite this as 6 to the 3 plus, sorry, 2 to the 6 plus 2 to the 3. Or you could write it as 72, but don't be tempted to write as a single power. Sometimes they will give you a trap like that typically with pluses and minuses. All right, some more challenging ones. With more challenging ones, follow bed mass. Deal with the brackets first, then look at multiply and divide. Remember, addition and subtraction don't have power rules, so really you're only bed mass. No, not even A, bedem. So look at bedem. We're not considering add and subtract. We want to do brackets first, then multiply and divide. Now, when fractions are written like this, typically it's implying there are brackets at the top and the bottom. So really, this is 8 to the 30 over 8 to the 10. Division, so we subtract, is 8 to the 20. Okay. Then here, remembering a 4 written on its own is just a 1. And the brackets imply, sorry, the division implies brackets. So that's 4 to the 1 times 4 to the 6 is 4 to the 7 on top. 4 to the 5 on the bottom equals 4 squared. And that's as far as we want to go. Here, negative 9, a bit nasty. On the top, though, of our imaginary division, we would have neg 9 to the 10 divided by neg 9 to the 2, and then subtract. So note, one step, one calculation. The subtract, therefore, would be neg 9 to the 8. That answer we know would be positive, because it's including the brackets, and the brackets are important here to keep around the neg 9, but it's a very big number, we're not going to work it out. All right, here, inside the brackets first. Inside the brackets first looks like 2 to the 11, then to the 3, then that equals 2 to the 33. So remember, follow bed mass, but use the rules while you go along. All right, that is all for this video. There'll be another video, same sort of thing, coming up next. Enjoy.